how do you feel about this? Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Wow, it's getting thicker every second. Strong stuff, kid. Don't hmm. mess with it. It's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. Oh, and now you're decorating me like <laughs> a Christmas tree? That's disturbing, too. Is there no end to the humiliation? There. You more. can still see the grain of the wood. <laughs> oh, that's hard. <laughs> and I get some crystal. All right. No, don't go back. I'm a terrible, terrible person. That's. <laughs> what the hell do I need? So oh, costume. Wait for the tide. Okay, now flip it and stick it. Um. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Um. Okay, okay. So far, so good. You made it! Yeah. After you took that beast hooker away, they eventually left us alone. Thank you so much, non-maiden. Yeah, well. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. Nice. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. Wow, well, that's weird. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Huh, not half as hard as I'm going to kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Just standing here. Yeah. You maidens nervous? Yeah. Nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chagra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. Yeah. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah. They figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. There's your commentary Ciao. on tradition. But no, no, hey. Like um. Okay. I use the stool to get over this thing. That's not a good use. We have one like that back home for making upside down cakes. I don't think Curtis will miss this much. Nah, that doesn't need a new son, especially. Um, Sab. He's already sealed up in there pretty good. No need to seal it up more. Well, I'm definitely not putting it on my head now. <laughs> it's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. I don't think that will fit in this socket. I wonder what that symbol means. That's not a good use for a stool. Hmm. Well. 
such strange shapes in here. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. Nah, that doesn't need a new sun. Especially not a vintage crystal one. Nah, that doesn't need a new sun. Especially not a vintage crystal one. There's that symbol again. That symbol is so strange, but familiar. Alright, um... Guess this is where they buried their old god. I don't know, it's kind of like a wacky diagram to me, but... Um... The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. What do I do with a bucket of sap? Hmm. So that's a symbol that was back in the the hut. Um, go back there one more time. No, my right. Okay, easy does it. <laughs> I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. <clears throat> Hi. Hey, Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah? <laughs> Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? That's fantastic. I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Nice. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Hmm. What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh huh. Hmm. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Oh, yeah. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. What? The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up, then? I only had it up there ironically. But I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. That's so weird. You wear the trees. So weird. <laughs> okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. <laughs> this game, man. <laughs> Why is the flag up? So, what's this supposed to be? A little man with a bad haircut? Maybe. Now to the right. All right. So back in here. Can I use this here like a key? Rad. found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. 
Wait, what? Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. <laughs> Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. That's so part weird. of the reason I went into Chrysalation, to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? Hmm. I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Huh. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. Um. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. Nice. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Hmm. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. So is he the boy? You're welcome. The wolf? Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Hmm. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Oh, sure. Don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Okay. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Heard that before. Here. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. I feel bad for swiping this laser coil. I should probably put it back. There. It's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. Hmm. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. On second thought, I don't like it there. This is gonna be ridiculous, but hey. Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. Cause you gotta try it, right? I mean... What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! <laughs> hmm. And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. The targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Oh, jeez. Okay, shut it down. Take that, Just use Siegel. quick bursts, or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from Steel Bunting, I'm sure you're not gonna need it. Aw. Wait for the tide! Okay. Okay, he does it. Wait for the tide! Let's cut this ribbon already. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Yeah, I suppose. Um, That's not a good place to hang a ladder. Never is. Um, I really thought that one was different. Are you sure you're packing it tight, Clarence? Let's help. Oh. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. All right. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. Me too. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sand castle. Looks like we're in business. All right. So I'm stinky. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm it's contestant. showtime. Got the death ray. Know what to do, girls. Ooh, that's right. Alex. 
I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Oh. That was pretty red. Alex, get that laser ready! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. When I cut you open, I'd better get ready to fire that thing, Alex! Hit it! Even its eyes are armor-plated. He need to wait. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Now! Dang, this timing is tough. One tasty maiden over here. I think I'm getting through that thick hide. You're just a big f Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! Dang! The hide's too thick! My hands are stuck! I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two! Come on, you stupid death ray! Dead eye god, his skin deflects my shots. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, I it You're going down, you I stupid mog. Hit it, hurry up oh. and recharge already. You've eaten your last maiden, mog. Hit it, dead eye god. Got your number, Mog Chakra. Now I need to find a more vulnerable spot. Gotta let it cool down. Hey, 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 Alex, let it cool down, down, Bella. This whole mountain is gonna melt down. Right. Yeah, you recognize me, don't you? This way! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. It's charging back hey, up. Hey, hey, let it cool down, Vela. But this whole mountain is gonna melt down. Right. Drag your saggy old tentacles this way, if you can. No good. Even his eyes are armor plated. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Fire away! Oh. Gotcha. Sir. Take the shot. Say ah, uh, freak. Hit it, dead eye god. Even its eyes are armor plated. He must have a more vulnerable spot. Take the shot. No good. His mouth is closed. Mog Chathra is not scared of my fruit. Why am I still carrying this heavy thing? That's weird. Uh... Hit it, Dead Eye God! There's 
more where that came from. Hit it, Dead Eye God! Nailed it! Come here! Beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but, but not two. Yeah, okay, I get it. Fire away! Ooh, sounds like that hurt. Take the shot! No good. His mouth is closed. Now! God. There's more where that came from. Okay, so <laughs> gladly hang uh, there. Take the shot. Rats. Hit it, dead eye God. with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Sure, you're tired of hearing that apologize. No, I need to find a more vulnerable spot. No good. Do it! I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. I think I'm getting through that thick hide. Over here, you nasty old dumpling. Do it! Your saggy old tentacles. Th Whoops. Now. Okay, I'm up. With your one lone tentacle. Hit it, dead eye god. No good. Even his eyes are armor plated. Even his eyes are armor plated. He must have a more vulnerable spot. Do it! Oh no, I need to find a more vulnerable spot. Take the shot! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. No good! His mouth is closed! As long as it did, you could probably hear the gears in my head a little bit about all that one. That's a mood. 
Someone who helped that poor lady. blown. the twist. All right, I did not see that coming. Hmm. Well, that was good fun. I apologize for the running around there at the end. I, I might try to clean that up in post. So if you hear me rattling on about how long it took me to figure out the boss fight and it only took a few moments, then uh, I apologize for the confusion, but it actually took probably 10 minutes for me to figure out what the heck was going on. But like I said, all in all, good fun. Can't wait for, for part two. Um, not sure when you'll be seeing the video, obviously. Uh, I can't guarantee you when you'll view it, but... Um, the game, as of the, uh, the posting, was uh, available on Steam. Uh, you can buy the, the first part as a pre-order, you'll get it immediately upon release, and then part two will come out later. You don't have to pay anything additional, it's DLC or anything, you just, you'll just get it. Um, so that's, uh, that I await eagerly. Uh, been seeing a lot of episodic content lately, and uh, it's working for me. I don't know how the rest of you feel, but I, I do enjoy it. Um, and it is fun to go back a little bit and uh, revisit the actual adventure game saga instead of um, some of what Telltale's been doing lately. I, I wish I do enjoy, which is more of an interactive story and less of a, a puzzly uh, adventure game from the days of yore where you can run around for ten minutes and not quite know exactly how to solve a puzzle, but know that you'll get it through trial and error, which uh, was a bit brain bendy. I had to knock the rust off the brain, but it was, uh, yeah, it, it's something I recommend. Um, of course, if you watched through the entire uh, Let's Play of Part 1, you pretty much know what's going to happen, but it's still an excellent title to have in your library, and I, I heartily recommend it. Um, and as much as I you know, just to, like I said, uh, went through the, the playthrough by myself. I do recommend it. I'd love to see more of these style adventure games. Uh, like if you see right there, special thanks to Ron Gilbert. Uh, we, we owe that fine gentleman along with uh, Tim Schafer for games like uh, Maniac Mansion and uh, Full Throttle and things like that. So uh, if, if you're new to adventure games, this is a great jumping off point. Um, but unfortunately, this is the end of the video, so for me, it is the jumping off point. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. As always, I have been Crimson Verse, and I shall see you next game.